Of heavy rain have been moving across the tri state this afternoon, and homeowners in some low lying areas are starting to worry about garages and basements. If you end up with water in your home this evening, we have important information on what to do and what not to do so you don't waste your money. Water damage from a rainstorm can cost you thousands of dollars to repair, and it's going to be really costly to everyone in the neighborhoods. If your basement gets wet tonight, it's essential to remove anything wet as soon as possible. Mold can start growing in just 24 hours. You want to take action right away. So as soon as you realize it, start removing any items that can be removed and get fans blowing in the area so you can start to dry it out. Our partners at the Consumer Guide Angie's List say if you have wet carpeting or drywall, you may want to call a professional. It's almost impossible to dry out wet padding underneath your carpet. So we come out extract the water, place drying equipment, and then we check back the following days to make sure it's drying properly. Carpet cleaner Jennifer Malk says if wood cabinets or drywall get wet, more gear and labor are required. Drill holes in the wall and then force air into the area behind the wall. A professional like ServPro or similar companies will cost several hundred dollars or more, but they will try to get your insurance to chip in. We go through and catalog things with the homeowner. Angie's List says toss flood damaged carpet. Even if you dry it out, it can still harbor mold and bacteria. If you do end up having to rip out wet carpet this weekend, Angie's List suggests you consider just painting the basement floor, then replacing the carpeting with area rugs that are easy to move out of harm's way next time a storm comes. Now we don't waste your money, Julie.